Um, tonight, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the power of place, uh, new dimensions in, in local history. Um, most of the uh, material that I have to share with you tonight is focused on the idea of place, the concept of place, what it is, how it impacts our lives. Uh, and toward the end, I'll get into some specifics about uh, the implications for local history, since this is a uh, history lecture. Most of what I have here is uh, intended to be more uh, conversational uh, and informal. I don't plan on reading directly from a prepared script, but I'm going to start out that way. Um, I'm going to start out with what you might call a, a, a manifesto of place of sorts, uh, my thoughts about what place is and why it's important. And uh, many of these ideas will be um, reappearing in, in my talk as we go along. What's most important in life? In American life, to what do we make our primary commitments? A typical list would include family, friends, profession, and religion. At varying times in history, country may be on that list. But what about our local communities, our natural world? Many of us perform generous public service and consider ourselves good stewards of the environment. But does a commitment to place make it to the top of the list of the most fundamental commitments for a majority of Americans? I really don't think so. And I think it should. Americans are ambitious. They reach out, grasping for achievement and greatness beyond the ordinary. That's a wonderful trait. But in doing so, we often reach past the local places in which we dwell. At worst, we begin to think of our local places as constricting and provincial, preventing us from living the lives of ambition and achievement for which we strive. I think that's sad, and I think that's wrong. Our places, the local webs of natural built social and cultural environments in which we dwell are really wonderful if we only let them be so and if we help them be so. They are also our grounding, our foundations in the world. And if we are to grow and prosper as individuals, as a society and as a culture, and if we hope to live in a world that is sustainable, we must come to know love and nurture our local communities and regions. To do so is not to be provincial or limited. The local is not yokel. On the contrary, being grounded in place is the best position from which to know the world. We become much more sensitive to the interconnections between our natural ecosystems and our world societies through intimacy with the immediate, the local. Think of it in the way that bioregionalist Gary Marshall does. He asks us <clears throat> to jump in the air, and as we land on the ground, to imagine concentric circles emanating from the spot on which we stand, as they might had we jumped in a pond. These are what Marshall calls our circles of responsibility. Marshall explains, this is a quote, immediately around me is my own domestic home. The next larger circle is my neighborhood, and so on, out to the largest circle, my planet. The full meaning of the word home is all these circles. I stand at one point in space, which is inside all these circles. End of the quote. None of these circles can be neglected, and all are dependent on each other. It is vitally important that we begin our work in the world from the inner circle of responsibility our local place. The calamities that may befall us and that are befalling us, environmental destruction, economic collapse, and human disconnection originate in our neglect of place. As that great modern sage Wendell Berry has said, quote, a human community then, if it is to last long, must exert a sort of centripetal force holding local soil and local memory in place. Practically speaking, human society has no work more important than this. What is place? Uh, I see it as a web of environments. And I use the word web 
uh, because it is a word that uh, intimates interconnection uh, as well as uh, uh, a tightness that um, creates something beautiful. But it's a web of environments. It's not just one kind of environment. It's not just a community. It's not just a built environment. It's not just the natural environment. In fact, it's all of these things. It's the natural environment. It's the built environment. It's our social environments. It's our cultural environments. They're all part of place. They're all part of this web. And lastly, uh, these are environments in which we dwell. And I use this word um, as uh, a word that suggests a kind of commitment. Uh, it suggests uh, longevity and it suggests a kind of uh, intimacy. Um, we've probably all used or, or heard of or thought about um, this phrase, a sense of place. I want to start out here just thinking a little bit about what, what gives us a sense of place. What is it that gives us a sense of place? And I've tried to capture some images here from our local community and uh, from uh, our region and, and state. So. How about this, here in Iowa City? Are these the kinds of things that give us a sense of place here in Iowa City? Some of our iconic, uh, iconic buildings and iconic figures. The old Capitol, here's the Black Angel from uh, Oakland Cemetery, Herky the Hawk. Uh, are these the things that give us a sense of place? How about these kinds of images? That's the Coral Ridge Mall there on the, uh, <laughs> on the left. Um, beautiful. Uh, this is the Iowa City landfill a hog confinement building, a hog lot. Are these part of uh, our place? How about the people in our community? People we're proud of, people we like to celebrate. Uh, James Van Allen here. Uh, this is Emma Harvett, our first, uh, our first woman mayor of Iowa City, and I believe the first mayor of a, of a city of a significant size in the country. And now Mary Ellen Robinson, of course, famous novelist who will be uh, speaking here very soon. Bill Sachter, I hope everybody knows uh, Bill Sachter. Um, how about these folks? Gong Lu, uh, the young man who murdered several people in 1991, a uh, graduate student at the University of Iowa, and uh, went on a shooting rampage. Um, is he part of our sense of place? Uh, what about the homeless people in our community? Um, we need to incorporate and embrace them as much as we incorporate and embrace James Van Allen. What about meth victims? Um, what about young people out downtown Iowa City on Thursday nights having a good time, which a lot of people uh, think are uh, being destructive of themselves in many ways and destructive of our, of our community. How about our natural world? Beautiful prairie scene. This is in the new Waterworks Park out there north of the uh, expressway. Uh, this is a nice scene from Hickory Hill Park. A beautiful Iowa River flowing through the campus in our community. Well, how about these matters in our natural environment? Is this part of our sense of place? Should it be? Uh, in the news, these are headlines from the Des Moines Register. Uh, we've been noted as having some of the most highly polluted rivers in the country. Uh, feedlots and manure. Um, in the last few years we've had this situation with the uh, old uh, manufactured gas plant site near downtown here which uh, has caused some uh, uh, pollution in the, um, in the groundwater. Okay, well how about some of the cultural products? Uh, some of the expressions of our place? Uh, things we like to celebrate. Oh, Field of Dreams, right? Um, is this heaven? No, this is Iowa. Uh, State Fair, iconic kind of uh, idea uh, captured in the Rodgers and Hammerstein musical. Uh, the images of Grant Wood, um, the idealized in many ways images of Grant Wood. Um, in some ways, some might say the nostalgic images of Grant Wood. Uh, well, there are other types of uh, cultural expressions. 